Hey, what's going on, guys? So today I got the Permito um, backup dash cam slash uh, uh, dash recorder slash front recorder slash um, uh, in in cab recorder. Okay, so I know I already have this shit up, but my bad. But look, I'm still I'm just starting, so no problem. So I'll tell you what I've done so far. Okay, so I've mounted the the um, the mirror, just unboxed my stuff, connected this this right here, which is like is the um, the the video for all three of them since it has them labeled, which is nice. So this time around, it's a USB C. USB C, and then I only got the power connected, and that's it. That's all I got. See, I, I just started. I just forgot that I, I, I was gonna I was gonna record it. So, so that's what I got so far. So next thing I want to do. Oh, and I also have my trunk already already uh, prepared for everything, so I don't have to do that while I'm recording. So I took the cover off. I took the cover off, and this is where I, we're gonna run the the backup camera. So I could close this door over here, since we know that the cables run through the the driver side. So okay. So next, I'm gonna connect my front camera. I already peeled out the sticker. And you're gonna get this cable that says, uh, it should say on the other side. Yes, it says front cam right there. So, what I'm gonna do is just mount it where I want it. And I think I'm gonna want it right there, right in the middle. And right there. And I'm gonna check that, see how how that looks okay so now I grab my end for the front camera and just connect it to the front camera I'm gonna put the camera down because it's hard okay so when you're connecting these make sure that the lines I mean I'm sorry the arrows line up if it wants to focus there so now I'm just gonna test, I'm gonna turn on the power, see how it looks. So that's how the front camera looks. And it still has that little, the, the blue, the blue uh, uh, cover, that's why it's a little bit blurry, but look, let me take it off and show you how it looks. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool because you can move it. You could 360 it. So if you don't like the view, you could just move it up or down. But you see, now it looks beautiful. Very nice. Okay, so next step, we're gonna run our wire through here. And back down all the way to the back okay so I'm gonna put you guys on pause and I'm not gonna record me taking this off because your car might be different I'm just giving you a general idea of, of how how it works and like this one it, it looks like it's just clipped on because uh, it doesn't have any screws like my truck did so um, this one you could just pop it off and well we'll see how it goes okay for for those who has a who have a Malibu 2016 to 2018 for sure I, I don't know if the new ones are the same but yeah you could just grab it from here and pull it out so let me do that okay again for those who has who have a Malibu so this clip right here was connected right here so what you want to do is just basically pull this tab down and slide it off now this one's a little bit tricky because my hands really can't reach in there so I'm gonna see what I could do and work with it 
Okay guys, so you gotta remember that this one with the red wire goes to the back. Okay, so what you wanna do is start from the back. I mean, I'm sorry, from the front and work your way back. So I just figured while you at it, just connect this camera, the the indoor, the in, indoor cam, cab camera. That way you know exactly where you're gonna hide this right here. So like this, you got them all like this. Everything's connected. So let me go ahead and hide this and run the wires. Okay, people, so I'm gonna make this easy for you. Don't take this off. Don't take this off. Again, if you have a Malibu, don't take this off. Unless, or any vehicle, unless you, you really don't have this thing right here, because check this out. I'm hiding it under there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm hiding the cable under there. I'm just going, going around, and just tucking it in like that. Like that, just tuck it in all the way to the back, okay? Okay guys, so here's my progress. Okay, now, now I remember why I took this off and this off on my truck because I wanted a clean install. So I'm not too worried about it right now, maybe in the future. I wanna get this done quick because I got an installation on that truck, LED lights in the, in the, in the trunk. I mean, I'm sorry, in the, in the bed. So, okay, so I ran my wire all the way through this black weather strip. So make sure to put it in. And here's where, this is where the clean install ends on this wire right here as you can see it goes to the back to the passenger side and I, I really don't like that but like I said I guess it'll do for now um, and then I ran it through here tucked it under here Ran it through, ran it through like this right here. So I tucked it in right there on the, under the seat and then popped it up over here. Ran it, ran it, and then just pushed it to the back. And since I wanted, I wanted it on top, so I tucked it in under these two and came out of there and now i'm just waiting to put the backup camera okay so i got everything ran through the back and i actually i said you know what it's gonna be way more trouble uh if i want to hide it next time so what i did is just took this panel off ran it through here i didn't, ha I didn't have to take this one off so just took this one off ran it through the back and popped it up over here on this one and went through the back and out the trunk so the next step is the rear camera okay so there's two ways to do this the the first one and the more easier one is just you actually get two clips with this camera, if I could find them, let me see where I left them. Okay, they're over here. Okay, two clips. This one is for indoor. If you want to hook it, I'm sorry, this one is for outdoor. The one that has five dots, five holes. This one is for the outdoors. If you're gonna uh, mount it on your on your license plate uh, area, and this one is for indoor as you can see it has two little let me, let me take it out so you can see okay it has two basically like i don't know how to call them sections i guess so this is this goes right there in your mirror and points to the back but i don't like that especially if you got five percent ten you're not gonna see shit so i'm gonna drill some holes and put this one okay guys so it goes like this if you're gonna um, if you're gonna drill the holes it goes like this okay 
So the only holes you want to drill is probably going to be this one right here. Big enough so this could fit. Okay. Oh, also, this is how you put the the screws. Don't over tighten them just yet. So, the, in the pack, it comes with four four screws and two smaller ones. The smaller ones are the ones you're gonna use for here, and two like little small washers. I don't know if you can see that right there, but you put the washer and then you put the the screw, and don't over tighten them. Like I said, just loose enough so you can still move it. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna want it like right about there, but as you see, we're gonna have to drill a hole. So you might wanna, if you don't wanna do this, you might wanna put it inside of the cab. But like I said, it doesn't work when you have five percent tint. So I'm gonna drill a hole right where the cable ends. I don't know if you can see, but around right there. So yeah. Okay guys, so here's my progress. I hit all those cables as you can see right there. Hit all the cables. I'm working on the back. Uh actually my my um my drill died, so now I gotta wait for it to charge. So but the next step I wanna hide the power cable. So this one we're gonna hide it the same way, like that. And then we're gonna run it through here and out through here. Uh, I did order uh, something, I'll, I'll link it down, down below, but that way I don't have this power uh, cable connected to my 12 volt cigarette lighter, I mean um, port. I'm gonna, I have a, ca I have a cable coming today uh, I'll probably do an install that actually eliminates this so I don't have to use my cigarette uh, port and I could just connect it to one of the fuse box thingies so we'll see how that turns out okay so here's my progress so I hit the cable again we want to do a clean install so when it got to here I opened the glove box, tucked in my cable under there, as you can see under, and took it out the other side. So before you close it, make sure it doesn't pinch anything, it doesn't pinch the cable. So that right there, what I did right here, is perfect. So I went over this little ridge through there, and out on this side, so as you see as clean as we can and like I said I'm, I got something coming that will remove this that way I don't have this cable taking my port and having it right here okay one more thing I forgot the GPS this is optional I'm not gonna do it but what you want to do is maybe connect it well connect it here and then run it through this side through the left uh, right side I'm sorry through the right side because over here there's already a lot of stuff and the you the um, the cable that connects all three cameras is probably like this thick so it leaves this spot alone so if you're gonna run your GPS run it to this side over here you know what fuck it I'll just put it okay I got it connected now I just gotta run the wire but this actually goes in the corner okay so make sure to clean it i know i know i'm cleaning it with my finger but oh well so just peel it off and stick it in there stick it right here in the corner oops right here in the corner right there press it there you go now hide the cable so bam, I got it in just like that. GPS, everything clean. Now I just gotta go drill the back. Okay guys, so this is what I did. <sighs> I mean, this is what I had to do. So I drilled the hole, I covered it, 
and then I was like, oh, the reason I covered it was because the license plate, you uh, you couldn't put it put, put it through, and not only that, whenever I th I just bought this car, so I got the paper plates, no problem with that, right? But when I get the actual license plate, this hole would have to go through um through where it says the state name, and I <clears throat> from what I heard is against the law to cover the license plate. Uh, so what I did was cover it back up and drilled it, drilled a hole over here and just put it like that, as you can see. And I also, you, you might be wondering like, well, what, what the heck is up? You know, how about, how about the water when it rains? So this thing right here is an epoxy. So I vow for this product, the one I bought, and I'm going to put a link down below on Amazon because it works. I actually had to drill a hole on my truck from underneath, covered it with this shit, never had a problem. And it's going about almost to a year. And so, as you see, I did put some right there. I don't know if you could see, I don't know if you could pick it up because I can't see because the sun is bright. But I did cover up the hole. Just make sure you put some in, in the hole and you shouldn't have a problem. So now I'm just going to hook everything back up, put everything together, and we'll see how the final product comes out. Okay, guys, so now it's ready for me to put it back. As you can see, I zip-tied, and all the extra, I just put it, like, right here in this little... I swear it has a little pocket, like, if it, it knows what you're going to do. So, there. I zip-tied it and just put it there. All the extra cable, I just put it there, then... As you can see, this this red one is for the backup camera. You can connect it or not. Hold on, sorry for the helicopter. Okay, uh, like I said, this red cable is for the backup camera, which you connected somewhere around here on these cables. Um, you're gonna have to uh, split one, uh, split the tape, and then uh, uh, connect it to one of these cables. I'm not sure which one. So you can have to see that for yourself, but the reason I'm not connecting mine is because I this this car right here the 2016 Malibu already has a great camera great camera No complaints whatsoever clear as fuck. So I'm not I don't, I'm not even gonna bother to do that extra step You I know you are gonna need a multimeter though to check what this is uh, what uh, what it's actually giving up 12 volts when you uh, you're gonna have to have a second person, uh, so they can put it on reverse, and then and then you're gonna have to see which one is actually putting out the 12 volts. Uh, I might do another video, but I'm not sure. I might, but uh, I'm positive I'm not gonna hook it up. So what I did is just ran the cable with zip ties, and now I'm just gonna put everything back, and I'll show you the final product. Okay, guys, moment of truth. Everything is nice and tidy. Everything looks good, no cable showing, GPS on, no cable showing. So, let's turn it on. Bam! That's the GPS right there. Check that out, look at that backup camera. And you could also move it up and move it down however you want. And let's switch between the modes. Look at that. Perfect. And then everybody's favorite. Three views. Would you look at that? Nice. Now just set the time and you'll be good to go guys everything is good so and like I said if you want to connect your backup camera just put it in reverse and uh, and the backup camera will show if you have it connected but like I said mine doesn't need it because it already has a great camera and a great screen so alright guys hope this video helped you uh, like comment and subscribe because I am gonna do more stuff in the future for this car anybody has a Malibu 2016 through 2019 I believe and uh, I'm also gonna do some in the truck 
So, hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. See ya.